Here we are at the Hate Street Art Center in San Francisco. We're about to go up the stairs and see an exhibit of artwork by Ruben Kadish. It's called Classic and Surreal, artwork mostly from the 1930s and 1940s. First off is a huge mural on one wall from a previous exhibit here at the Hate Street Art Center. And then there are other artworks on the opposite wall, also from previous exhibits here. But at the top of the stairs, a Ruben Kadish mural called Dissertation on Alchemy, 1937, done under the auspices of the WPA in San Francisco. Next comes a uh, very much later sculpture that he did, 1988. This is in his Holocaust series. Here's some mural proposals he did for other WPA projects. Some more things on the table, but here we have a description of the symbolism of dissertation on alchemy. Very uh, bold, symbolic forms that he explains quite a bit. He wrote that out soon after he finished the mural. We'll look down the hallway of the Hate Street Art Center. Ruben was born in 1913 in Chicago. On the left, a couple of photographs, one as a young man with his father, one with his mother. At the bottom, a painting by his father, Sam. Here's Ruben in 1946, and right after that, in 1932, humorous caricature he did in a high school yearbook. This is a portrait that he did of his father, Sam Kadish, 1934. They moved to Los Angeles because of his father's health reasons, and he studied at the Otis Art Institute in L.A., an engraving on the left, then a painting inspired by Cezanne's Bathers series, and then a torso study and a portrait study by Ruben Kadish, all of these about 1931. But very soon, surrealism came into his life. Here is a woman in a desolate landscape, a lithograph from 1938, and then a sleeper creating a strange creature of a dream at the top, biomorphic forms at the bottom here. Next is a blind woman pushing a rickety old cart, 1938, Depression era 1938 of San Francisco. Across the way, a 1940 abstract surrealist work, Automatism. He was a good friend of Jackson Pollock, and this is much of what Pollock would do in his mature career. We'll look down the hallway of the Hay Street Art Center. You can study how to create posters here. It's a wonderful facility. And this is a huge mural that he and Philip Gustin did. Morelia, Mexico. Uh, this is uh, Struggle Against War and Fascism, 1934-35. When he came back from the war, he did some curious, futuristic, almost Big Brotherish type of lithographs. This one uh, of sort of an ogre pushing humankind aside. The next one could be called Life and Death, Man with a Noose Around His Neck, Woman with Child. Done All of these done about 1943, 1943-1944. Uh, Here's some sculpture that he did when he returned from the war, figurative and mythological. But he focused mostly on abstract expressionism, late 60s, early 70s. This abstract form, a lithograph from 1961, the Tamarind Workshop in Los Angeles. And then early 70s, another abstract expressionist, figures floating in the sky, very textured. We next come to some photographs that show murals that he did in conjunction with Philip Goldstein, who later changed his name to Philip Gustin. The one at the top is a communist-themed work that he did in the Workers' Alliance Center with Philip, 1932. This middle photograph is of that Mexican mural, 1934-35. And then at the City of Hope, outside of the city of, of uh, Pasadena, the two of them worked on a mural at uh, this medical center in 1936, uh, the uh, progress of humankind. We go back to the landing of the stairwell, dissertation on alchemy, very bold colors, very angular symbolic forms. There's the alchemist on the left-hand side. Another quick look at that late bronze casting, 1988. It's called Spartacus, by the way and uh, very colorful uh, poster that is on the wall. Then back to uh, some mural proposals. 
He proposed about 20 different WPA projects, all turned down by the WPA. Too bold, too flamboyant, they said. This is a, a, a drawing that he did of the salamander-griffin for the mural. Very important element in the world of alchemy. If you read up about it, you will find that to be the case. And the top there, another mural proposal. Quite nice uh, social realist style. If you want to know more about Ruben Kadish, look him up on Facebook. Ruben Kadish, R-E-U-B-E-N, K-A-D-I-S-H. Or for his later works, go to rubenkadish.org online. The Heat Street Arts Center is a wonderful facility. Oh, here's the description. Dissertation on Alchemy by Ruben Kadish, assisted by Urban Neininger, WPA, 1936-37. Anyway, go to the Heat Street Arts Center. They have exhibits all the time. Fabulous works. Excellent facility. And one more glance at Dissertation on Alchemy. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you've learned a little bit more about Ruben Kadish. But uh, do look him up online. Learn more about him. Thank you so much.